I'm not ashamed to own my Lord, nor to defend His cause. Maintain the honors of His word, the glory of His cross. Hello, I am James Brown, and on behalf of the East End Church of Christ, located in Toronto, Canada, I'd like to welcome you to uh, the very first episode of Walking Through the Bible, a podcast where we seek to study the Bible and the Bible alone. Please stick around afterwards for information on how you can contact us. But for now, I'm going to turn you over to Jeremy Disekamp, who will explain a little more about who we are and get us started in our Bible study. Thank you, James, and welcome to all of our viewers. My name is Jeremy Disselkamp, the preacher for the East End Church of Christ in Toronto, Canada. We here at East End are excited about launching this new podcast where Monday through Saturday we're going to spend five minutes together studying verse by verse through the books of the Bible. We will be largely alternating between the Old and New Testaments, starting in the beginning with the book of Genesis. On Sunday we will be publishing two episodes. One will be a five-minute question and answer session where viewers are encouraged to send in their questions. You can send in your questions either to our email, answerintheword at gmail.com, or by leaving a comment in the comment section of any one of our videos. You will be contacted when your question is answered, but if your question isn't used in an episode, a written response will be sent to you instead. The second episode on Sunday will be a sermon preached from the Bible. These episodes will typically be a little longer, and we'll cover various topics. We hope you'll become a regular viewer to this podcast and a subscriber to the East End Church of Christ YouTube channel as we study through God's Word, one verse at a time. We're going to start our journey through the Bible, as was said at the top, with the book of Genesis. But before we do, I'd like us to examine why we should want to study the Bible in the first place. The word Bible comes from the Greek word biblios, which means a written book, a roll, or a scroll. But unlike the books you'd find at your local library, the Bible is not just any book. It is the only book that can provide answers to life's greatest questions concerning our origin, purpose, and destiny. The reason it can do this is because the Bible is not the product of the human mind, but given by the inspiration of the one true God of this universe, as 2 Timothy 3, 16 and 17 says. Peter says in 2 Peter 1, verses 20 and 21, that the scriptures aren't open to in private interpretations, nor were they produced by the will of man, but holy men of God recorded what the Holy Spirit revealed to them. Thus, as you read through the Bible, you will find that one book does not contradict another book, and you will also find a unified theme throughout, which is God's plan to save mankind from sin through Jesus Christ. Now, if you were to pick up a Bible, you will quickly realize that it is not actually one book, but a collection of 66 separate books, written by at least 40 different inspired authors over the course of about 1,500 years. That fact alone makes the Bible's united story so amazing. The Bible includes two main divisions, the Old Testament and the New Testament. The Old Testament is composed of 39 books, written between the years of about 1450 B.C., and 400 BC. These books fall into five major categories. The books of the law, Genesis to Deuteronomy. The books of history, Joshua to Esther. The books of poetry, Job to Song of Solomon. The major prophets, Isaiah to Daniel. And the minor prophets, Hosea to Malachi. The New Testament, on the other hand, consists of 27 books, which also fall into five main categories. The first category is the Gospels, Matthew through John. The second is the book of history, the book of Acts. The third are Paul's epistles, Romans to Philemon. The fourth is our general letters written by many different people to collection of Christians, Hebrews through Jude. And the last one being a book of prophecy, the book of Revelation. Each of these books on their own can reveal to us part of the message of God. But when put together and studied in their entirety, we can find out what is the whole counsel of God. Doing this also enables us to better stand in awe of how great our God is, that in spite of our weaknesses and sinfulness, he was able to provide us a way of salvation through Jesus Christ. And that really is the goal of this podcast, to teach the Bible and the Bible alone, to not only build up those who are already saved through Christ, 
but to hopefully bring others to salvation through obedience to God as well. We hope you will join us, the Lord willing, tomorrow when we begin our examination of the book of Genesis. Thank you, Jeremy. And to our viewers, we also thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking on the subscribe button below. Should you have any questions or comments, please leave a comment below or email us at answerintheword at gmail.com. We'll try to respond to you as quickly as we can. We hope you'll join us, the Lord willing, tomorrow when we'll be continuing our study of the book of Genesis. Goodbye for now and have a great day. I'm not ashamed to own my Lord, nor to defend His cause. Maintain the honors of His word.